Hello and welcome, I'm Carbon Chili and this is the extravaganza that is my channel where we play professional games unprofessionally. So this is my first series attempt, whatever you would like to call it, in uh, how to do stuff. Now in this I'm going to do uh, a video on how to build ships. Now this by no means is an expert how to build. This is just the wanderings of my own mind and how, how I build a ship from what I've learned in combat, from my own aesthetics of shipbuilding and generally my own ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create it. It seems to me for some reason to be uh, much easier to build these ships in creative mode. Now, if you have been watching my Triumvirate uh, series on uh, um, Cosmetia, you will know that what I am actually looking for is a, a short perhaps even short range, but certainly a small, fast fighter. It doesn't need to be particularly well armed, but it needs to be maneuverable and fast. Now, I did go ahead and lo uh, build, well, I built this thing, the ferret. I mean, I'll, I'll show you this first. Now, this thing, let's just keep, make it so. We can probably get rid of it in a minute. Uh, now what this has, this has one large thruster at the back, two at the front and a heavy cannon. Now, what's the problem with this ship? Energy. I know we've got more energy than required. What is the problem with this ship? Uh, actually nothing, this is pretty good. Let's, let's, actually this is not terribly bad. And I'll explain in a moment. So, let's see what sort of speeds it can do. Uh, it turns on a circle. Its maximum speed is 45, 46, 47, uh, 48. Now, when it gets here, let's do a strafe. Um, it's doing that. And it's doing it quite nicely. Well, actually we may have our ship here. So, uh, it has side thrusters. It has a large thruster. I'm going to explain it a, a little bit to you And when I built it. We have minimal crew, which is what we're looking for. And it's command points. Now, what this doesn't have, which would be very useful is point defense. Now the problem with putting point defense in is we are going to require more crew. Let's put it on blueprint mode. Uh, if we put those there then obviously we will have to delete that. Now why have I done that? Because if I put them on the, the, the top there to give it more um, protection, our arc would not be big enough. Although, let's go ahead and just delete that and let us try... No, point defense. Can we try putting them in here? Would that work? That would work better. Now it does now require 12 crew, which would be, how much of these? 8, 10, 12, that's right. Which would mean we could put them Uh, 
we could put them there we could put them there or we could put them there either way they're going to be more vulnerable to attack now that's actually not a bad ship so I'm going to save that I'm, I'm happy with that. We're going to call that the Ferret Mark II. Now, what do I not like about this ship? I explain. Not big enough engines. Doesn't give us enough power. Now, what I would like to do, and I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and show you another design that I've made. I'm not going to go and uh show you all of them now this one it has a lot of crew and let's make it so it's eighty thousand. it is a weird looking ship why because it has equal thrusters at the front and at the back because it's a broadsider it's a broadsider. Now, what problems do we have here? We have some problems with crew access. I have a very nasty habit of not allowing crew to the places that they need to be. No, they can go in and out of there. They can go in and out of there. Let me check this. I think this is... Turn the mirror off. I think this is the wrong way for some reason. Mm. What about if I put it there? Doesn't look right. Doesn't look wrong. So, why are you all stuck in there? Stick a door in there. Doors in there. Everybody should be able to. Now, maybe it's a crew thing. Maybe it's a crew thing. Um, now, we're going to go and mirror this because we have to think about this. You can operate that, that, that. That's six of you. That's plenty. Plus that. You can operate that, that, and that. You can operate that, 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 and that, and that. You can also operate that, and you can also operate that, the same as you. <coughs> right, so, is it a power thing? Let's go and have a look at power. Oh, let's. It's not on a. It's not on a diagonal. Do excuse my coughing. I've had a bit of a coughing fit all day. <coughs> right. I wonder if actually we have enough power. <coughs> no, we don't. But. I calculated this. I calculated this because why are you not doing anything? Why are you? Everything is powered. Maybe it's because the guns are not. 
online. So, what speed do we get out of this? We get a quite a low speed. Now, what about if we do some kind of maneuver here? Okay, now we're broadsiding at quite a good speed. Now, fire. Can we fire? No, I want to fire at will. Do we have a lack of command points? Mm, interesting. Interesting. So you we need somebody. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this uh, at these roles a little bit. So what I need is a command role. So we didn't really want to look at this here. Now, as we know, command is always sort of an orange-yellow. So, now, we go look at job priorities. Now, job priorities are, as one would imagine, very, very similar to your Rimworldy type stuff in a more complex way. So, we don't want them doing that. We don't want them doing that. Uh... Command, let's have them on six that. Everybody wants to be on ten that. Six that, fine. Let's go here. Operate lasers, don't do it. Don't do any of that. Yeah, okay, you can do that. Right. Operate cannons, no. Missile launchers also no. You don't want to be r r running rail guns, flak batteries, nothing like that. So armor, minor, minor, minor. Uh, point supply battery. Now this is interesting let's put you on a four put you on a four of that cockpit do you want ten 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 you want to be operating that thrusters not so much no no none of those because we're gonna have an engineering i guess No, we don't really want you doing any of those, uh, nor that. Uh, none of this really exists just yet, so it doesn't really matter. Although, we will probably have a factory on this ship at a later date. Now, I don't know why I'm showing you this, because it's not a ship we're going to be using anytime soon but I am showing you how the uh, crew setup is uh, yeah that's fine for now and mining no but sensors yes uh, tractor beam probably yes okay Edit roll. Basic info. Oh, okay, fine. So, we want to make you command. Now, that will help out a little bit. Why are you not command? I want you to be command. Uh, C. 
save it by default for now, yeah. <coughs> Do not know why they are not a different colour. Right click to assign to a squad. That's left click. Maybe... Hmm... Is it on an individual basis? I thought it was on a room basis. Okay... Okay, now... doesn't make a lot of sense. Order squads mode. No, no, let's take that off. Hmm. I've never done this before actually. I mean I've seen I've seen it set up and I have set up roles, but in the end I never actually assigned them. Do we have insufficient crew? Thirty crew, thirty birds. Now let me just have a quick look at something. Thirty thirty I that was right. So, if we go back here, yeah, right, right, so, but why you're not yellow shirts, ah, Ah, maybe I'm pivoting the wrong key. <laughs> well, it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? You know, we hit the wrong keys. Uh, and, yeah, we, 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 we do that, don't we? Can we have a door in there? No. Can they? They can get out there and they can get round. Everybody can get through. No. So, what's the problem here? What is the... Oh, that would be the first problem. They all have doors. This is... I don't think they've got fire extinguishers for that matter, but I do always make sure I put the, the doors in. Stick that in there, in there, in there, in there. Everybody should be able to get in. They're all crude. They don't seem to have anything to do. Now, why do they not seem to have anything to do? Is it because we don't have enough crew? We've got 30 crew and if 30 is what we need. Hmm. All right, let's go back to power. <coughs> Good, but power should be the up problem here. I bet you, yeah, there you go. There you go. It's always something stupid. There you go. Right, so. Now, what can we fire at? Can we... What, what happens if we rotate? That rotates quite nicely. 
Uh, is this is this a deck cannon? No, it's a heavy laser blaster. Okay, so if we if we take these three guns and we say fire at will, auto fire continuously. Oh, that's a nice ship. Oh, that's a nice ship. We like that ship. Okay, so the Ferret Mark II. That's not the Ferret Mark II. That is the Hippovit Mark II. How much is that thing? 146,000. Mm. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at one more ship before we uh, go ahead and see that is very expensive uh yeah we're gonna go and have a look at this ship now what is this ship it's a factory ship <coughs> excuse me it has very little point defense i don't know why it looks like that though uh it has a lot of crew quarters it's the factories that are costing steel smelter coil factory doesn't take a lot of crew is quite heavily armored and I tell you something I don't like. So it's going to be become the Mark II. Now it doesn't have any shields, but I'm going to show you a few things while 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 we're looking here. When we want to figure things out about ships, we look at how many command points it has, the shield strength in this case, uh, the hit points, and more importantly power usage 0 0.2 per second now we look at these and we can see 0 point uh, sorry 1.5 so uh per second so to power what was it this thing per second if we had what one had about six of these we'd need one of those Right, now, if we look at this type of thruster, these I don't really like, weak, weak, basically. So if we had a standard thruster, which is 0 0.1, and we pop that in there, yep, and you see we would have to, Uh, how could we do that? That work. Now this engine is shielded. Now I am tempted somewhat to rebuild this ship in some way now yeah i'm tempted to rebuild it in some way we have see these these thrusters they're useless they're useless now if we put that in there and we put another one in there i'd like to get rid of that and let's do it on the mirror mode if we put 
That one in there. That one in there. And that one in there. Right. So now what do we have to delete? We have to delete this. Fine. And we do have to delete a point defense. And we have to delete that point defense and that. And that's easy because we will replace it with one of those which is fine. Now, currently it has zero defense, but a lot of armor. Does have a, you know, I'm, I'm gonna bite the bullet here. I know, I know we're looking already at a pretty hefty price tag, but I think it would be better to have that. Now, what about... What about if we put some... Twin defense... Twin defense... guns at the front here. That might be interesting. And some more twin defense here. We can just drop some triangulated armor in here now some of it some of this is aesthetics um, I'm actually gonna put armor in here so they can't hit our engines that can be got rid of an armor put in this needs to be blown up Probably that, in fact, really, we could probably get rid of all of this. It's now changed its... Changed its shape. So, we're going to put some strategic armor in there. And then, what else are we going to do? We can put some, is that a three armor wedge? Yeah, we like that. We like that. Okay, so, let's take that off. Now, what are we missing here, and how much crew? We need 21 beds. We have... 6, 12, 18. How many more do we need? So really we need twos. And twos could stick in quite nicely there. Is that in the right place? Yeah. Now, we can always add more storage to this. And um, we can always add... Do you know what? I'm going to move those. I think we could do with those down here somewhere. Where could we put those? Uh, that 
guten Ort. Yes, yeah, we've got to go all the way. Ah! Well, we put them in there where we've got structurals. It's quite easy. Put one in there and put one in there. No? That gives us 22 beds. That's a crew enough. Uh, we got plenty enough power. Uh, ah, do you know what we're missing? Two very, very fundamental things for this ship. We have not got mining lasers. And that is going to jump the crew. <coughs> Why? No. What about if we... Can we get one up the back? Would it work? Not really. Alright, so if we... They're not heavy lasers, it's mining lasers. Mining lasers. Are they fine facing the right way? They are facing the right way. So, if we drop those there, and we bring more or less a double corridor there, that will be perfect, no? Ah, so we need to make that so first and then do we have enough command points let everyone get on board let me just check a few things because I am very well renowned for missing things Do we, let's just go there. Can I do something? Can I do something? I can do something. In blueprint mode. And then I can pop that in there. And then gonna work about that. Is that gonna work? That point defense is useless. With that there it's absolutely useless. There. Uh, and then a wedge there. Not sure I like that. Maybe I'll just go for... Ooh, what about... What about... Uh, no, that doesn't really work, does it? I was thinking like a dragon spine sort of thing. Now that has to be a... A two, but the opposite way. Like that. Does give them a... No, that really just needs to be... That really just needs to be flat, like that. Because then it gives them some kind of point defense. And then the engine 
like that. Weird shape, make it so. Okay, so how does this fly now? The Hippovip Mark II. As a, a mining ship, we get 24. That's not too bad. Uh, and the strafing. Okay, so now it's strafing. Strafing. You're 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 using your side thrusters. We got two large on the front. Uh, we probably do with a bit more, but that doesn't really matter. Now, what about if we want to pull back? What's our speed? Now, if we're pulling back with got more or less the same front speed as back speed. So this is our hippo vip. Now we haven't painted here. So again, I'm just going to go and show you what my idea was for this ship. We needed storage. We needed <coughs> a little bit of... Can they get in there? No, I don't believe they can. And, and, and this kind of thing is always good for uh, spotting little mistakes like this that we should probably then uh, put uh, armour in here because otherwise that will just get blown through. Right. So, we needed mining lasers. We got them. A cockpit for three people and plenty of storage. We wanted to reduce the weight, so we put in a degree of, um, what am I, we put in a degree of uh, scaffolding. The crew we've not really sorted out yet, because what we will need to do is we will need to put command crew in, we will need to put engineering crew in, and porters, you know, people moving things around. Our energy, it says we need 6.7. It's not strictly true. I mean, especially, we will need to put in a new core, which we can put in here when, uh, when we need it. But up for the moment, we're not producing anything. And that's not the aim, we're storing. And in fact, I may go ahead and put another slightly smaller storage in. Why are we not on that? Okay. Uh, that is not right. Oh, that's because that's bigger uh, <laughs> okay fair enough um, what about this now if we do that we are going to have to yeah it's not gonna work a smaller one here with some kind of corridor that will do it. That will give us a little bit more storage. Um, so, yeah, as I will continue, we want enough speed to which will the two engines will give us going forward, and it will give us a bit more thrust going backwards if we ever need to escape, or more to the point, if we just run into asteroids and need to move out. Same with the side which as we expand we can cut off the side and, and, and expand outwards. We have plenty of room here to expand the um, manufacturing and also the storage. So this basically is our first attempt at a 
a, a, a fabricant ship. Now, I quite like this Ferret Mark II that we have built. Um, and they are 70,000, basically, so that's 140,000. And in actual fact, it is cheaper both in crew, it's cheaper both in crew and in money to build two of those rather than the hippo vip. Yeah, should have been the Mark III, but okay, fine. Um, so, actually, I think we have had a very productive uh, lesson there. Uh, we haven't combat tested any of these. Um, we would need to do that. This particular ship is not really combat ready. All it is is it has a couple of twin... Uh, twin defences on the front and on the side here. We may put another one at the back here later on. It's really just to shoot down cannons and missiles. And uh, by that time, we should have some kind of uh, support move in. Now, as you may also have noticed on the previous two ships I haven't put any shields I've only got shields on the main ship this is mostly due to energy cost so most of the game is weighing up different costs of things ammunition producing ammunition how you need to although these are the most powerful so as we go along here uh, we aren't going to stick to the to the ships I've just built here today. We are going to change our tactics as needed and we are going to uh, perhaps have a look at some of these other designs that I've built. Uh, so, I hope it's been useful for you. Uh, I've been Carbon Chili, you've been the audience, and this has been an educational Cosmeteer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.